We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, be sure to come back tomorrow. We're gonna make some black bean burgers. Good afternoon, everybody. Look at this, stopping at a Whole Foods because I work not too far from one and they gotta pick up some things before the night of festivities begins. All of the deliciousness. And over here they've got like a whole plethora of like delicious vegan stuff over here. Oh, vegan pesto and chocolates and deliciousness. Ooh. First on the list, two avocados. I think I'm gonna grab them ripe because I think we're eating them today or tomorrow. I'd get a variety of colors, but I'm just gonna grab two. I'm gonna grab a third, just because they're good for add-ons. The so next thing on the list was some tostadas. And I also am gonna grab some like, couple of groceries, but I'm especially gonna look for, and it's gonna look bad if I don't figure it out with the log that I'm looking for some fancy drink that's low sugar, but carbonated for Sarah because she's keeping also strict with her like not as much sugar or no additive sugars. So I gotta find like a fancy drink that's like a vacation drink with not fake sugars, but also carbonated. A little bit of a challenge, but if there's if it's gonna be anywhere, it's gonna be either, I'm at Whole Foods, either at Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. So I'm at a good place to check it out. I just gotta take a look real quick. So I realized the other part of it was caffeine free. Sugar free, caffeine free, delicious, carbonated. My first thoughts are kombucha but she was not the biggest fan of kombucha, so I think if I got by one of these like almost kombuchas where it's like a mix, it would be better, but I gotta find the proper one. So I'm checking these out. They say lightly carbonated, so which makes me think they're not gonna be like super kombucha flavored. And if I get the lemon ginger, she might like that. I'm gonna have to get a couple different options. I'm gonna grab one of those and I'm gonna see if I can find anything else. It is a sunny, beautiful day. It was like pouring earlier like a typhoon. I just like kind of went splurging on a few things, but I think Sarah's gonna be thrilled and happy and great. Check this out. No cheese cheesy puffs. Also got paleo puffs, grain free. Himalayan salt and apple cinnamon vinegar. Got some all natural soaps, good stuff like that. Trying out new deodorant, but this is the gold. So I ended up finding pineapple peach. And this is the one that I think is gonna be the winner. This is the one I think it's gonna be the winner, the mojito lime mint coconut. And I got myself a little something something. Where is it? California cold brew. Why, hello. Um, we are having a pool night tonight with the bugs at their apartment complex. I just threw on the black bean burgers. Peter is on his way home. He stopped at Whole Foods and he's gonna stop at Walgreens before he gets here. Um, but I am just gonna show you what I'm cooking up. We also have leftovers from Trails End last night. And I think the bugs are gonna have some sticky snacks too at the pool, so not a super crazy dinner, but just enough to hold us over for now. Also, if you like Vance Joy, Spotify has a live performance at the Red Rocks of him. It's just the whole concert. If you're into it, go listen to it. Here are our black bean quinoa burgers. I'll throw the recipe in the description instead of um, describing it. I'm not eating potatoes right now, so I doubled the quinoa. Um, but it should still be good. I also throw in carrots and jalapenos um, and some hot sauce, like stuff like that. But it's a really good recipe. We really liked it so far. So I'll put that link in the description. So then I also have some watermelon. I cut up half a watermelon. We still have another half. Um, so this is what's left of it, but we'll probably finish it up. I guess watermelon is really good for your reproductive system. So I've been eating that like crazy. And then Peter is bringing home an avocado. This is just jalapenos, tomatoes, and lime juice. And I'm not gonna make like full-on guacamole, but just like a little avocado mix to put on top of the burgers. So instead of doing burger buns, we're gonna do tostadas just for the extra carbs. 
and that's what we're having all I have left to do is braid my hair um, I already have like our bathing suits and everything ready to go and yeah I'm excited we haven't seen the bugs in like potentially definitely weeks I don't know if it's been over a month or not but um, I just can't wait to hug them I'm such a fool I went all the way to Whole Foods with the intention of getting vegan marshmallows but then we added some things to a list to pick up some other stuff and I didn't even get the marshmallows I have to go back tomorrow uh, well at least we're not using the marshmallows tonight we're going to hang out with the bugs not meeting back up with the Rocky and her kids I can't believe I forgot them Sarah's I know she's not gonna be mad because I'm gonna go tomorrow but like I spent so much time and effort to go there and I forgot the marshmallows I'm nuts I'll have it again Friday. guess what I did what I forgot to get the marshmallows I'll have to go tomorrow during lunch. Oh my god. But at least we're not using them tonight. Yeah. I get them tomorrow during lunch. And tomorrow's the last busy day at the office. Yeah. I literally was in Walgreens on the phone and I was like, oh my god. The whole Wait, reason. So the whole reason Peter like went on FaceTime and the girls. Hey girls. Here is the final product. All done up. We also have some leftover veggies and samosas from yesterday. See you guys. That was Josh Bug's voice message. He's a super cool dude. He sends all of this stuff. He barely text messages me. He just sends me voice messages. And I give him a hard time for that. And he gives me a hard time for not responding because I am the world's worst <laughs> text responder. It's true. Except for it to me, really. Don't tell anybody that. We're going swimming at the Bug's like, neighborhood community pool, so that'll be fun. Yeah. I was jonesing for some, some pool time over the weekend, and it's been like two weeks since I got in the water, so I'm thirsty. <laughs> Oh look, it's the man, it's the myth, it's the legend. I promise it's vegan. Josh Bug. Everybody, Josh Bug. Brother. Vegan ran. You're so thoughtful. I was going to say they're trying to butter me up, but guess what? It's a vegan. <laughs> you can't butter me up. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's go! Um, the, the bugs did not tell me this pool is 5-6 in the center. I just went in the center to go dive in to get all ready. It's 5-6 off my feet. I went to go step and they like, slipped out underneath me. Look at this stuff. Look at this. Ah. Oh. <laughs> this water feels so good. Yeah, Lucy! Gosh, this is the most heated pool I've ever been in. The most heated? Yeah. Especially with the rain today, I thought it was going to be freezing. And it's just big of a pool. Yeah. Good job, people who are monitoring this pool. Good job. Life. <laughs> when, you live in when, you, when you grow up in Florida, you're thinking about a pool, right, Lucy? Exactly. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. You tell me to go bye bye. You're teaching your daughter to send me away. I'll send you away. Do you want me to go? Do you want me to come? I don't know. You're sending me mixed signals, Lou. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. This looks like paradise with the sun setting. Is this not like a deliciously, perfectly temperatured pool? It is. I've never been in a pool in all of the resorts we've like visited or stayed on or seen that has a pool perfectly temperatured like this. I wanna, you're gonna, I'm gonna annoy you to come to this pool all the time. I would go to the pool every day if I could. I would too. And we've been trying to do that for every weekend and we've missed the last two weekends. Now I know how glorious this is. I've been trying to get you <laughs> Plus, I love that tree right there. That tree looks like it's from Forrest Gump. He taught me how to climb. 
I taught her how to dangle. <laughs> uh oh, where is he? Uh oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hi. Do you want to wear the glasses? What? Woo! Should I show her how it's done? Yeah, I'll just say, can somebody... I think, I think I'm going to show her how it's done. Somebody... Lucy. Watch Peter. You want to see me jump? <laughs> I don't think I could show this earlier because there were kids I don't know playing, but look at this cool setup. I love it. It's got these archways. This looks like a giant mushroom. This right here is just cool. So, ooh, it's kind of cold. Kind of cold. Lucy, help! <laughs> Surprise! Oh. My name is Peter Brookhart, and this is my audition to be a Harlem Gold Trotter. You don't have him jump the ball. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean Harlem. I meant Jesse White tumblers from Chicago. <laughs> the Harlem Globetrotters are cool, though. I know, but Jesse White's more hometown hero. Okay, well, we can... We can work with it. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Peter Brookhart, and this is my audition. Let's get ready to rumble! You can reach me at... TBP32830 at gmail.com. We may have not been the first ones here, but we are the last ones to be. Plus, I think we're gonna snack on some goodies. Are we snacking on anything? Oh, yeah, we got snacks. We got snacks on snacks. We got on snacks, snacks, we got games, we got Ooh. couches. Should we go back to Lucy's house? Should we go to your house? Yay! Yay! The bugs bought non vegan, or right. they bought vegan ranch, and I'm gonna try it now with these snap peas, but I don't know how to eat. You snap just eat it. The whole thing? Green and all? Like, yeah. I just eat, I consume all, all of that? It's not like an edamame where you have to pop oh, the I thought it was. eat the whole thing. Pretty delicious. The bugs are trying to torment me with the double stuffed Oreos. I've already told Josh we're leaving at, at latest at 10.15. He said that kind of stuff before though, and then like midnight rolls around, and we're watching our third documentary Excuse about ultra marathons. Well, you never know. Here's Jess, by the way. Don't look at me. Oh, it's, it's that over the shoulder look. You oh, know? okay. That's okay. She's looking at these donuts that are from some fancy place that Josh got them from. Who needs a man when you have fried bread? You do you, Jess, Jess. You do you. <laughs> All I want in life is one of these. I've always wanted you one. And with the last 45 minutes of our evening, Josh has had this game for like a month and a half now. And we've yet to play it, so we're going to just get the pieces ready and watch a video on how to play it. Yep. But it's all about the villains. We got... The Queen of Hearts right here, looking nice and like she painted the roses red. Captain Hookski, James Hook. Who is this? Mo oh, this is Jafar. Is that Jafar? Or is that Maleficent? Yeah, yeah, yeah Jafar. Jafar. Yeah. Urs, the worst. Who is this? Is this like the centerpiece, like the prize? Uh, uh, or is that the, the mysterious unknown villain of Disney? Um, what's his name? Lord Falkland. Prashan from Robin Hood. Oh, that's right. Yep. Silly me. The crown right there. If you look like this, it looks like it. Yep. And then there's some little, like, keys pieces right here. And this cool, like, um, oh, who did I forget? Oh, Maleficent, of course. Yeah. I thought it was weird about her. This looks like a Beyblade stadium. It we, should start collecting, we should start collecting Beyblades again. Let's eat yeah, them. I had so many big players. Let's get, let's just like make, I'm, I'm down. I went to, from Dothan. Are you down? I did a three hour, three and a half hour trip one say, time for say, a Beyblade tournament. So you're down. I'm down. No electrics. No. Metal cores are the best. Anything goes though, like imports? Yeah, we can do imports. Oh. Custom mods. 
Done. There's no electricity. Okay, yeah. Hi, my name is Sarah. I don't know if you know me. I don't know if I'm really in the vlog or not tonight. It's true. It's been a very Peter-centric. Um, Peter's um, going on a run. Remember when I said I was going to get up at 5 a.m.? I, I think, think I cut that out because it didn't happen. Oh, well, I said yesterday I was going to wake up at 5 a.m. to switch over to, to morning shots, morning runs, because it's just like, got to do it. It's a new standard. Something spooky happened. I think a ghost came in our room because I set an alarm on our Amazon speaker, which you have to talk to to turn off. I put five alarms on my phone and put my phone on charger across the room so we'd have to get up, turn it off. Just like we up. do like run Disney mornings. Like, right. When we have to do something, we do it. We wake so up, it's... so that's just the new standard. I set all these alarms, and they wake up an hour and a half later with none of the alarms. Like, you can tell on a phone, like, if an alarm's gone off and it stopped, or if it just never went off. These alarms were turned off. You just see Eve jump up to try to get water. Yeah, none of the alarms went off. And then my phone alarm started going off, and that just stopped. So. Well, the phone alarm went off when I came in the room from leaving the shower, so I think... The phones just know to turn off their alarms around me. Something spooky happened. Twelve o'clock midnight. Okay, so today's message. The best revenge is always to just happily move on and let karma do the rest. Anonymous. She's so tired. She's so cute. Alright. All right. I ran my five miles. Good job. At a decent pace, slower pace, but I've been learning from my friend Steve and research that I need to slow down during my training so I could speed up during my races. And it was 85% humidity, so it felt like it was a million degrees. And we lived by like a foresty part. So when I was near that, it was probably higher than 85% humidity. Comment down below how much you love Eve. <laughs> I love her so much. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. She just bolted over. Oh, she's so thirsty. This is her exclusive cup. I'm drinking out of my... Mm -hmm. Disney College Program alumni. She, oh, she wants ice. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.